again, right? She lost her hair, she lost her eyebrows, but she never lost her smile. Oh no. And, and even when she, I remember when she looked at the, at the mirror one day and she said, oh my God, I'm bold. <laughs> Since she came back to life, Hannah, I think somehow, miraculously, she decided that she will enjoy every minute she's living. And we too. And we too. She, she has always been uh, very resilient and um, stubborn, but it helped her. <laughs> and she knows what she wants. And she was very smart since she was born. So I, I believe that maybe by her third year, she started to, to paint and to draw. It was amazing. Everything that she learned in her life, she learned it very early. As if she, somehow she knew what will happen. So she gathered very quickly all the knowledge and everything so she would be ready when it happens, she will have a backup. Hannah's Locker came out of a Terry Fox assembly. So what happened with me was I saw this girl that was smiling away with big brown buns on each side of her hair, and she was in a wheelchair. And she got up and started talking about her story. And again, it was at the beginning of the year, so it was maybe third week into September, and so you know, the busyness of the school year, kids are just getting settled, you know, trying to figure out the whole junior high, you know, life and where they fit. And, and so then there was all of a sudden this, this shining light, it was Hannah. My compatriot, Jim, had done a presentation to accompany it. And as a result, uh, a lot of tears were, were expended, including mine own. And I was going, wow, I could not believe how amazing this girl was to actually be still smiling and have that kind of situation happen where you can go from being a ballerina to being in a wheelchair and having limited use of your left hand and still function. So I thought that was just amazing. Uh, Hannah, Hannah told me that day even grown-up kids, <laughs> as she says, were high-fiving her and uh, everyone was looking at her so differently, they, they saw her for two weeks, but they didn't know who she was. And now they, they know what she went through. And despite what she went through, she's smiling all the time. So, Hannah, I, I, I always say love saved her, but Hannah always says, smile, my smile saved me. Stuff on your lap. Drone, drones. 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 We're not allowed drones. I tried drones, but... What? We can put robots to push the, the girls upstairs asked me to do, you know, a shelf for her locker or something because when you go to Hannah's locker, she can't access anything. She has her left hand, she can barely get in there and out of there. Uh, so I looked at the locker and started talking to some of my students in my applied technology program where we're looking at how to make things for others, how to use design for, for other people as opposed to just for yourself. It's yeah. the prototype of like the hinge for the door to open. So mm -hmm. this is mounted on the wall inside the locker. And then this is on like the locker door. So it, like, so it turns and then pulls out and then she can open and, and it goes to the side so she can like wheel up to the locker and get her stuff instead of like opening it. So. Okay, so this is the last prototype where you have an articulating or telescoping 
a project that can come out of the locker and move up and down. Mr. Trenholm actually uh, showed me all the the projects that uh, the, the the kids in grade some of them are in grade seven, some in grade eight have been doing. His idea is we have Hannah here at school, but there is a Hannah in every school. And it's very important for these kids to feel that they're not missing something. So if you see Hannah's locker, the locker is actually is just a symbol mm -hmm. to anything else. It's the accessibility, being accessible, having places that are accessible and not just labeled for handicapped. Hannah's locker sort of turned into something as being more accepting to everyone and sort of a symbolism of how like our community accepts everyone no matter like who they are, like race, gender, anything. So it's sort of just like a symbol of that. This is something that has evolved into something that has really, our whole school has embraced in some form or another. You know, so whether the students are all directly involved with designing, you know, something physical for Hannah's Locker or being part of, you know, the day where um, students were creating hearts and saying we are Hannah. You know, I, I don't know if I speak about it very often without getting kind of teary, to tell you the truth. My whole career, I've uh, worked with kids in the middle years, adolescents, you know, kind of kids ages, you know, 12 to 16, and I think often they get a bad reputation. Um, they're certainly going through a tumultuous time in terms of their, their development. But when you see a school of 700 children rallying around, um, it makes me very proud. I couldn't be prouder of them. And we discovered last year, so the song, The Climb, we discovered the lyrics. And then Hannah, when she started the, the voice and the piano lessons, she said, this was the first one, she said, I want to learn to play it. There is a gap, there will always be a gap for now, because Hannah, um, well, for a year she wasn't actually, she was behind, she wasn't really present, especially after the radiation. But um, it's because of them, it's because of the kids that she mingled with, because of the teachers who were treating her like she was a whole, you know, healthy kid and nothing is uh, missing. And dealing with kids who had normal problems, um, normal stories, laughing at silly things. Don't let go. This is, don't let go. Just try and try and try and try. Miracles believe that it still exists. And we have seen that in several miracles. My friends and seeing my locker being customized by people, good friends from other classes. Like seeing my friends being proud of me, like the journey that I have, the journey that I have been, and seeing how I went far from back then.